Alright. Hello and welcome once again to another game of StarCraft 2. I am your host, Jim Rayner, the guardian of peace and justice in the galaxy, liberating millions from the forces who hate good and love evil. And wanted to do another wanted to do another um, Mass Raven demo. Always refining this build. I wanted to demonstrate that um, one of the problems that I've had with it is you, since since ravens are so gas intensive, I mean they cost 200 gas, 100 minerals per unit. That's a huge commitment, and that you're going to have leftover minerals because you just can't spend all those minerals. Well, typically, what I've tried to do is I'll just make a bunch of command centers everywhere but then you have to PF them and that costs 150 what's the point I mean you can do that but put them into something more useful like Marines so I've been kinda of doing that I want to demonstrate it so here's the way it works you um, you make your first depot and send a scout over there he's really not scouting there's not much to see this early He's going to drop a little engineering bay and block him from expanding. And from there you just continue to save up money until you have enough for a command center which you put down there. This guy was pretty good. Um, let's actually I'm going to go to the APM. Well it's not that exciting right now but he gets, he gets pretty high up there. Uh, let's go to production. Where are you? So, pull first, he sees my SCV and thinks I'm just there doing my normal scout. Again, still nothing at home, no gas, no barracks, nothing. Not worried about, uh, I mean, it's going to be a little while before he can even make units, and then he'll have to send them across the map, so I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. I knew that he knew that now he was blocked and I was expecting him to try to expand and if he went down here I would try to block that but he just went straight for my SCB so I'm gonna send him home okay so as soon as I have the money man center and gas in that order next thing you do make a barracks offset a little bit and then put a engineering bay right about here so you can wall off two possibilities for him he can run Zerglings in here to try to take out what he believes will be an orbital command but it will actually be a PF or he can try to do a Roach Bust. The Roach Bust is the hardest to deal with and it's rare when I can make that work but it, 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 it can work. You gotta really rely on this PF obviously and uh, the most vulnerable thing is if he just busts through this being far enough away out of the range of the PF, he can just run up and take out your whole economy and then you're screwed. Okay, so those guys are on the way. Um, he's got overlords pretty much all over the place. Sending the Zerglings in. Alright, as soon as these two items are done, well, as soon as the engineering base is done, I PF it. Make my first Marine and he's right on time with his Zerglings. Unfortunately I'm gonna lose the SCB. Wasn't quick enough. But um, no need to panic, just build a couple of Marines and uh, a couple of SCBs here to do the repair job and nothing to worry about. So that's done. Next thing you want to do is uh, build up a little wall, a little wrap and then um, the next step would be to make a factory. He uh, happily expanded over there rather than dealing with my engineering bay. Speed is done. No, I don't, no, it's not done. He hasn't started it yet. He hasn't gotten any gas yet. Alright, that's going to be probably taken care of. So, um, barracks there. I don't know. So I, I'm thinking that the, the the bunker should go here and the barracks here because he could in theory bust through this standing right about here still refining that alright want my high sec auto tracking to give me another range on the PF and missile turrets as well bunkers made you're in good shape 
factories next. Not sure exactly the timing of my next two gases. Um, still, still haven't really developed that. I've been doing it a little bit later. Usually I do it right away, but it's going to be a while before I can get my ravens out and justify it. So in the meantime, I really need um, need missile turrets, which does not cost gas, and um, I'm going to start building my my um, starports. So at this point, I really need minerals more than anything else. Alright, so he's got his queen injecting larva, he's got his gas, he's got a macro hatch, and his natural. So he's gonna be he's gonna be on four hatches pretty soon, spitting larva all over the place. His food counts higher than me. Once the factory is done, drop a tech lab on it and make your factory or your starport. And as soon as that starport's flipped onto the tech lab, you wanna hit the uh, Corvid reactor to make uh, your energy. Uh, supply blocked. Am I supply blocked? thought I was. Maybe for a nanosecond. Alright, so the gases are up. Um, time to start making missile turrets. You want to make missile turrets all the way around your base. The, the number depends entirely upon how, how heavily he goes into mutas, and I haven't been able to gauge his mute account. Um, Obviously, it's you know you usually don't know until it's too late. So I sent out my factory scout, and that usually is an indicator. He'll send his mutas to attack that, and depending on how many I see, will then determine how many uh, more missile turrets I might need to get. So uh, Corvid reactor, I need you to start being researched. Wasn't really keep paying attention. So. Um, Oh, why did I send you that way? Why am I doing that? I don't know. <laughs> so much of the factory scout. Alright, so missile turret's going down. Spook counts at 80 and mine is 55. Judging by that alone, you can see I'm in not very good shape. I bought two bases. He's Got four hatcheries. Oh. But you'll soon see the power of a good build order. So I'm gonna just make Marines my uh, spare minerals as best I can. And thankfully, he gave me some nice low hanging fruit for my Viking. They're two times speed, there's not much to talk about. He's teching, I'm teching. Alright, his larva doesn't stay larva for too long. That well, one's got a few there. So away I go, supply block, so I go a little crazy with the supply depots. Okay, now I'm sending my factory scout. This will hopefully tell me a little bit more than what I know, which is nothing. And his spire is done, so he's working on the flyer attack level 1. And here are the home of the mutas. I just figured I'd see if I could take the towers with the uh, couple of marines. Alright, here the fun begins. I don't... I didn't count how many he started with. Less than a page. So, marines called into duty. There's turrets, he's flying all over the place with him. And we're down to four. So, not very good at flying away when he sees the missile turrets. Uh, five. I'll need a lot more than that. So, it's coming up and around. We're just going to sit there. Alright, so I got a good scout of his base. Didn't change anything. 
Alright. So, I've got... I'd like to have a little bit more than that, but... That's enough. Um, I'm gonna get my Marines and a few SCVs and just kinda... Get ready for the, uh, the expansion. Bring in my Marines. Obviously, I know Muta's around the field. I want to get a good Hunter Seeker on those guys. But he runs away, which is fine. Again, we start with half a page of these guys. And he's kind of dumb. He's just very indecisive. I get a good Hunter Seeker off. Another one's on the way, and he's like, ah, run, 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 run. Flies into more missile turrets. Hunter Seeker, Hunter Seeker. And, oh, isn't that sad? Damn it. That's too bad. But with his remaining mutas, he sacrifices them to the god of the marines. And dead they be. So, yeah, um, we're, we, oof, just a second ago we were even on the food count. Thanks to Zerg technology, you can quickly gain dudes. So, I just basically hook around at this point, and I'm ready to start my harass. Um, I sent these guys over here because I was going <coughs> to pick up some SCVs, but I, uh, wasn't paying attention, and busy trying to micro these guys. One thing you don't want to do is fly them into a bunch of a bunch of stuff and just lose them unnecessarily. So drop a few to take care of the workers and then I set up camp here. This is where I'm gonna stay for a little while. So I drop a couple of the um, gosh what are these things? Point defense drones to absorb the damage. Because I saw a couple of those spore crawlers. So that's going to take out his pool, uh, and his two hatcheries hopefully. In the meantime, he's going to do a pretty good amount of damage, but at uh, the cost of his army. So I've got these, but I lost a lot of SCVs, fortunately. My food count isn't too much better than his. But I've got the upper hand, I'm, on, I'm in his main, and I'm causing him trouble. So, having seen those guys, um, it's usually time to start getting the um, the Vikings. I was a little bit in dire straits, though, gas starved, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to replace this army if I lost it. So I'm kind of being careful about that. But I do want to get rid of the Greater Spire, and the Spire if I can. So I focus fire. I shift focus fire to those two guys. Uh, he's got brood lords on the way, though, so he's going to start brood lording his way through that. In the meantime, he's kind of setting up a little bit of a camp there. I really need to get my base of operations over here, and unfortunately, I lose a fair amount of those guys. Oh, that was painful. So whatever's left, I'm gonna have to take care of now. Um, so yeah, I went just went down here just to make sure I was gonna finish off that hatchery. And here comes the harass. No, all right, yeah. So he's gonna start making his way over. Brood lords, they used to scare me, but they're so slow that they don't scare me anymore. Okay, a couple more of those guys. Just a few more and this guy's done. Here they come. I've been massing a few more of these guys and I got my Vikings on the way. Having seen that, it's time to grab these guys and move over. I haven't perfected my micro on this part. I mean, I should probably just command click my Vikings, A move them, and then just keep 
keep those guys in deck. They're so expensive. Oh my gosh, and I lose so many of them. But I did want a Hunter Seeker a few of them, and that did, that did a fair amount of damage. I don't know why they're attacking my Vikings. Or my, I, they should be attacking my Vikings, because they're, they're the attacking unit, but maybe it was focus firing, I don't know. So, Brood Lords without uh, any support from the Corruptors. Easy pickings. Alright, so I still have those guys just kind of hanging out. They're pretty safe where they are at the moment. I'll repurpose them later. I really gotta queue up SCVs, get them mining. So this is my army. Pretty much. That and a few marines. So you basically at this point just kind of circle around the map. Um, you want to be careful about your energy. Only use enough to uh, kill off what you need. And then uh, having seen the spore crawlers in a second, let me speed up. You're dead. A little overkill on the Vikings, but um, I go in here and. Yeah, that's not something I really want to go into. So I take a look and take a quick U-turn. Better to kind of fly up and around. So I fly up and around, start doing damage with that. In the meantime, he's still trying to poke with his Zerlings. So here's a few of those guys. And I'm just keeping these guys at bay in case I see any more corruptors. In the meantime, I can start to hammer this guy from the north. Yeah, got that good and saturated now. A couple of point defense drones to absorb the damage. Run away, and he leaves the game. So, that's um, kind of how I'm going about it these days. Uh, the best counter to this build is, um, you know, believe it or not, it's it's Ultras, which can't shoot at, but they don't need to, because they're so hardy, you can't really kill them with, with these guys. So if you can get some Ultra Lords and just bust through, they can take damage. So just bust through the main, take out these star ports, and there's, there's nothing a Terran can do. That's it. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you later.